Welcome back to Pink or Tarot. My name is Z. This is a collective love reading for the collective. So that is all signs. Um, also keep in mind it's very general so it's not going to resonate with everyone since this is a collective reading. Um, so let's get into it. So we have the um, pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Um, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And then we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Right now, I, I feel like I'm going to have to do two love readings because... <laughs> okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have um, flirts. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and then very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So um, with this, some of you guys could be wanting to reconcile or um, with someone. But um, with this, it's like maybe there's a lot of red flags about this reconciliation. Um, what was that? Okay, I just heard something. But maybe there's like a lot of red flags with this reconciliation um, or with this person. Whatever... Um, Whoever this is that's coming back from someone's past, they may have a lot of red flags about them. So this could have been someone that you guys were dealing with or this could be like a past life thing. I don't know. But um, there is a family issue that has not been healed here. And so it's going to be an unrequited love situation. It's like someone has not healed from um, possibly their past or like something. Somebody has not healed from a situation. So it's like that's a big red flag right there. But it's like somebody's wanting to reconcile here. But it's going to be an unrequited. Like it's not going to be enough um, chemistry or attraction here with this person because they have not healed. Maybe they have some issues going on within themselves that's not going to make the relationship last here so i'm going to pull some energy oracle cards for each card just to see what what we get give me one for pace oh, i'm not going to take that card because i didn't even get a good shuffle so let's see what else we get give me one for pay attention to red flags Okay, Angel of Balance. So, yeah, with this Angel of Balance right here, I'm going to read the meaning of that. It's card number 48 here. So, let's see what that means. For some of you guys, somebody has, has not found some kind of balance here. Um, being centered and self-honoring in your choices. So, maybe this person is making some unhealthy um, choices right here. And that's like a big red flag. Um, this person is not balanced. But it's like somebody wants to reconcile. Give me one for reconciliation. Yes, yeah, so we have um, Healer of the Ages. There could be like some health issues going on right here. But this person could be wanting to reconcile, maybe saying that they want to heal. Um, they could be saying they want to heal um, a family issue or just like heal the connection here. Healer of the ages. Card number 51. And then we have all tied up right here at the bottom of the deck. Give me one for um, healing family issues. Give me one for healing family issues. 
Okay, so we have strategy. So someone's making a plan to possibly um heal a family issue. Maybe they're trying to come up with some kind of strategy. Maybe they're planning on about um they're planning on um possibly reconciling with someone, but it's like they're trying to make yeah, they're trying to make a plan or some kind of strategy here to heal a family issue right here. Give me one for unrequited love. Give me one for unrequited love. Okay, so yeah, um, so the hostility hostilities card come out came out, which is um card number twenty six. So unrequited love, it's like this this is not going to last because there's um conflict going on right here. I'm going to read the meaning of card number twenty six, which is hostilities. Um, so defense is up, aggressive energy. So yeah, somebody has their guard up. Um, uh, but with this hostility, this is like some kind of conflict. It's like, it's not going to last because somebody has not healed from, um, possibly the past, something that happened in the past. Clarify angel of balance. Clarify angel of balance. Yeah. Um, we have the Hermit card here. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. But it's like somebody needs to um, be in solitude. Maybe um, this, somebody needs to do somebody needs to do soul searching because they could be suffering from depression. So this could be a Virgo. But it's like somebody, um, just pay attention to red flags. Maybe somebody needs to go within. But I feel like somebody needs to do soul searching here. Because it's like... With this pay attention to red flags, they need to find balance um, here. So they need to be in solitude or like by themselves to do some soul searching or and also healing too with the hermit card. Yeah. So um, some of you guys could have been dealing with someone that you walked away from or they walked away from you. Clarify healer of the ages. Clarify healer of the ages. Ooh, the queen of swords. So for some of you guys, you could have cut this person off. Some of you guys could have been known with the air sign. It could have been Aquarius or a Libra. But um, something was a burden here. This could have been from the past. But something was a burden here. You probably cut them off or you're going to cut them off or needing to cut them off. But also, too, about this um, reconciliation. The Queen of Swords is very discerning, too. Um, also, too, some of you guys need to use your intuition. Because it's like somebody's trying to reconcile with someone from their past, but it's like they, that person has not healed or maybe they're not um, healthy. So it's like you need to be more discerning when this person comes back yeah it's like somebody's trying to create some sort of tactic um what is it yeah <laughs> like somebody could be trying to be real sneaky it's like maybe they see that you're single now this is how i'm seeing it so the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck the five of swords For some of you guys, this person could have, um, like, in the past, it's like, maybe this person was, like, an enemy. I don't know what that's about. Or it's like, this this person turned into your enemy. This, um, whoever you guys were dealing with. Clarify strategy. Okay, that was too many cards. Let me um, try one more time. Clarify strategy. Clarify 
our strategy. Okay, so um, turn it down. Turn it down. Um, we got the Ten of Wands that came out again for strategy. So I feel like somebody's trying to. Um, it's like whatever this family hitch, this family issue is. This could be someone that you have, guys have kids by. Turn it down. Um, they're trying to create some kind of strategy. Or they're, they're making a plan to possibly come back, but it's like too much of a burden here. Maybe this person has been carrying this burden for a while. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out where that strategy is like making a plan and the Ten of Wands. Um, clarify hostilities. Okay, this card just flew over. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups. So with this, this is kind of... I'm not even sure what this is about. This um, Nine of Cups, I feel like this is like physical pleasure. It's like maybe um, somebody, like somebody's coming back. This Nine of Cups could be like physical pleasure. Like um, this hostilities it's like somebody just somebody wants to come back just for physical pleasure because they have not healed from the past or whatever issues that they were dealing with but i'm going to see what this is about um clarify the hermit card so we got the ten of cups that came out for the hermit card so with this um So it's like someone searching for their own happiness. It's like somebody um, needs to go within to do soul searching to figure out how they can make themselves happy with this Ten of Cups. This is how I'm looking at it. Because it's like this person is, um, yeah, we got the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. So this could definitely be f for um, someone from, their, from your past. But it's like somebody needs to make a decision about if they want this person back. But it's like somebody needs to do some soul searching, go, in, go within. And I feel like once they do that, it's like they're going to um, feel a whole and happy. It's like somebody needs to figure out what's something's going on with them. Um, this could be something that happened like in their childhood. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups with the Queen of Swords. So this is definitely about a um, connection here. I feel like somebody needs to be uh, more discerning about this connection or um, the relationships or just like the people that you date with this. With the Sun card being at the bottom of the deck, um... It's almost like this Queen of Swords is like searching for the truth or it's like she, um, maybe she already knows the truth with the Sun card being at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the deck or some of you guys could be doing with the Leo. Clarify this Ten of Wands. Sorry if you guys hear water running in the background. Clarify this. Yeah. Whatever this was, it's to it was toxic. Um, with this Devil card being... Um, clear and find his ten of wands. Yeah. So somebody could have been making a plan to um to come back to heal a family issue, but it's like something was too much of a burden here, and it was like toxic. Some of you guys could have been done with the Capricorn with this Devil card right here, and somebody could have been waiting to take action with this. The magician card being at the bottom i mean um the hangman being at the bottom of the deck and then we have the um magician card yeah and in the six of cups somebody could have been waiting to take action um towards reconciling with somebody from the past let's see what this nine of cups is about i feel like it's like physical pleasure right there clarify the nine of cups turn it down please clarify the nine of cups please <laughs> so 
so okay so we have the full card and we got the eight of um, pentacles at the bottom of the deck so all right i just seen 15 15 i don't know what that's about um i'm gonna look up the meaning so this hostilities this unrequited love situation i feel like somebody knows so some of you guys could know that this is an unrequited love situation it's like you don't want this person back from your past so your defenses are up um and maybe um uh, there's like aggressive energy going on here because somebody's coming back in and i feel like this person is not healed maybe they have a lot of aggression with them um but it's like somebody here is could possibly be content they're happy um with where they are where they're at now and then with this full car it's like this is taking this relationship back will be too much of a risk for them but somebody here is like already they're starting something new with this full car and it's almost like you'll be looking backwards if you do take this person back um we have the eight of pentacles right here at the bottom of the deck some of you guys could just be focused on work you don't want this person back yeah you focus focus on work yeah and maybe you had to end some things too with this ten of swords or you let go of something or you could be working on letting go but somebody's um guard is definitely up there being defensive um yeah this could be friends too so i'm going to pull um some angel answer cards okay give me one for this spread don't stop yes so somebody actually chose a new direction with this um or it's like someone's needing to choose a new direction if you plan on reconciling with someone make um from your past it could be a virgo this person has not healed from the past so some of you guys could have chosen a new direction or you're choosing a new direction this is telling you not to stop just keep going because it's almost like you'll be looking backwards with this full card so this full card is like the last card out pool and you know they're looking backwards so it's like you don't want that'll be too much of a risk for you to, to look backwards so you could just be focused on work artist is telling you to focus on work yeah choose a new direction and we got no right here this is like a firm no so some of you guys need to tell somebody no whoever wants to reconcile with you from the past um and this person could be wanting back this person could be wanting to come back to um to extend their lighthearted energy to you or um i don't know with this flirt card this could be somebody just wanting to date give me one more for this spread give me one more for this spread yeah no the no card just popped out again so yeah no some of you guys do not need to um to reconcile with someone it could be a capricorn or a virgo or a leo but in the near future i feel like somebody needs to think about their future because like i said if what the full card it's like too much of a risk because like you're already happy and content with where you're at now um with that nine of cups and it's like you're, you're you'll be looking backwards instead of forwards that'd be too much of a risk and also too with the full card it's, that's like somebody leaping into something they're not even looking so that um for some of you guys you need to take calculated risks um when it comes towards i don't know dealing with people partnerships relationships but this is like a firm no don't stop no i feel like for some of y'all you don't need to reconcile with someone from the past so i'm going to leave this reading right here hopefully this resonated with someone feel free to leave a comment below um give the video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell